What is going on, you guys? It is Avery here bringing you guys a video talking about some circuit breaker leaks. Um, I apologize for not uh, talking about these earlier. I was out of town, and I'm not exactly in the best of condition right now. I'm still trying to get over a cold, so please bear with me as we go through this video. Um, instead of covering them one at a time, I figured I would just talk about all three, because I know some new YouTubers have already talked about like one-time passcode and uh, the the crawler thing, whatever it is. So I figured that I would talk about these two along with a uh, link bumper. So um, instead of just having to do like three separate videos, I can just cover all three uh, in one go. And yeah, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into the one that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about. Uh, it's called Link Bumper. It's apparently one of Yusaku's Link Monsters that formed his winning combo against Great Ogre. Uh, is also in Circuit Breaks. So that must be in the anime. I'm only up to episode 3. I really need to catch up. But it has 1400 attack. It is a link 2. As you can see, it points up and left. So, I mean, it's it's okay. I think the best kind of link monsters are the ones that don't point up. And if they do point up, if you're able to get rid of them in like the same turn that you summon them, so you're not helping your opponent. Um, but I think the best ones are like ones that point left, right, um, down, uh, bottom left, bottom right, and then downward, just because you're not really helping your opponent at all, and if they also point left and right, then uh, obviously if they're in the main monster zone, then it helps you out a lot. So, uh, he's a Link to Earth Cybers type Link effect monster, 1400 attack, and he requires two Cybers monsters. Once per turn, if a monster you control at this card's Link point attacks an opponent's Link monster, at the end of the damage step, you can activate this effect for each Link monster you currently control other than this card, that monster gains one additional attack on your opponent's link monsters during this battle phase. During the turn you activate this effect, your monsters cannot attack except that monster. Do what? Um, I gotta reread this. This this is kind of an interesting effect. So once a turn of a monster you control, this card's a link point. Attacks an opponent's link monster. So basically if a monster, if he's pointing to another monster, if it attacks a link monster at the end of the damage step, for each Link monster you control other than him, that monster gains one additional attack on Link monsters. So, I mean, it's not bad if your opponent has a lot of Link monsters on the board, um, but it only having 1,400 attack isn't all that good. So, I don't really see this being that good of a card. To kind of just put it straight. Um, then we got the Crawlers. Uh, they're part of the Star Grail lore. This one's called X Crawler. Qualiarch. It's an Earth Insect Link effect. Uh, link to 2000 attack, bottom left and bottom right. It requires two crawler monsters. Apply these effects depending on the number of crawler monsters you control. Two or more monsters you control gain three attack and defense. Four or more, your opponent can activate cards or effects in the battle phase. Six or more monsters you control can attack directly. And then two, if this face up card leaves the field by opponent's card effect or if it is shown by battle, you can target two crawler monsters with different names in your GY, which stands for graveyard now with the new card text, especially when them face down defense decision. This archetype, I feel, has a lot of potential to be good, but it all depends on what the other cards in the archetype are. Right now, this is the only card that we've seen so far from Circuit Breakers. If we get a lot of more cards that will help this deck out, I feel like it could be a good contender. Because right now, I feel like going into Link format in August, I feel like the top decks are going to possibly be True Dracos, maybe Dinosaurs, and um, we'll see Star Grails as like a rogue pick, and then I think or Trick Stars as a rogue pick, and then Star Grails will be a very good contender deck, because if you can do those combos, the deck is very, very good. It can brick, but if you're able to play out of those bricky hands and really know your combos, Star Grails are a very, very good deck. Um, so I could definitely see it being one of the top tier decks in August. Same thing with the Crawlers, it all depends on what the rest of their uh, support is. So we got one-time passcode. Cybers get a new spell that could end up in many non cybers combo decks. You special on one security token, Cybers Light Level 4, Attack and Defense, 2,000 Defense Decision, you only have to one-time passcode per turn, so it's a hard once per turn. That still sounds so sexual, but anyway. <laughs> um, I like how Capital G talked about this card. It really should be a quick play. Um, with so many token cards more than likely going to come out, because you can link someone with tokens, everyone's going to be comparing it to Scapegoat, and who knows, maybe even Scapegoat could get hit so that everybody won't be using Scapegoat to make link summons. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. If this card was a quick play, it would be much better. 
And also, if it wasn't a hard once per turn, although if it wasn't a hard once per turn, then that would be pretty busted because you could just go triple one time pass code, get out three tokens, and just make an easy link summon, which is obviously what they don't want to happen. Um, but just stat wise in general, the fact that it's a level four 2000 attack and offense is not all that bad for a token, like given the circumstances. And, you know, you could throw this into Phantasms and it wouldn't be all that bad of a card. Um, again, I do wish it was a quick play. And I wish it kind of did more than just get out a token, like, you know, get out a token and gain a thousand life points. I mean, if you're not going to make it a quick play, at least give it some other sort of effect, like get out a token and draw a card or get out a token and gain a thousand life points. I feel like that would be a better way to have made this card. But kind of a short video. Just want to talk about these new releases. Let me know what you guys think about the crawler archetype. Are you excited for it? Uh, I'm excited for it if it's going to be good. I'm already kind of playtesting Star Grails, and I really, really like that deck. So let me know what you guys think about these new cards from Circuit Breakers. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already.